action. Hi, I'm Greg with VG8 HDMI Cable, and uh, we're here today to talk about our video converter. One cool cat. Now, a lot of people would like to be able to simply connect their computer to their HDTV with a single cable and just plug it in here and plug it in there and have it work. And that'd be great. Unfortunately, the technologies are completely different. The output from this laptop and most computers is in a format called VGA, which is analog like a radio wave. The input into our HDTV and most HDTVs is all digital, which is just a stream of ones and zeros. So there's no cable that can convert analog signals into digital signals. So we need a device like this video converter, which will actually process the analog signal and turn it into a stream of ones and zeros that the HDTV can process. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. So this is the video converter with the instructions. There's a nice little converter box. The uh, power supply. Let's see if there's anything else in the box. Nothing else in the box. Okay. So uh, we'll need the power for last. So we have our converter box here. Now, uh, right now we're using um, the uh, VGA cable. So this is what you'll get in the package when you order the, uh, the converter from us. You get a VGA cable, you get the audio cable to carry the audio signal from the, um, uh, from the computer. And then, handling out the other end, you get, we're using a 25 foot HDMI cable today, and, uh, but uh, on the site we sell everywhere from 6 to 25 feet. Alright, 6 to 50 feet. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to plug in the, v the VGA cable to the computer. And then I'm going to make that connection here to the VGA connector on the box. Got some nice little screws there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the audio connector from the computer to the audio side of our converter. Finally, we're going to make the uh, HDMI connection. So, stupid caps. Um, and so there's an HDMI connection there. And on the back of our TV, the HDMI connector on our, on our TV. And that is as simple as it gets, except for power. Power here. And you see we've got little LEDs here. So we have power. Now, uh, so our TV still says no signal. What we're going to need to do now is uh, each laptop is a little different in this regard, but there is always a way on a laptop to tell it to use its VGA port. Uh, and on this one, it is function F7. And as soon as I press that, we've got, uh, now you can see there's my, uh, there's my computer display uh, on the TV. If I press function F7 again, it should be on both. There we go. So now we've got the same uh, the same picture on both. And now that we're connected, let's go ahead and play a movie file. Hey, that, that's a great looking set of knives, Kyle. What'd you get those? Oh well, this old magician guy was trying to unload. Oh, it's like magical trick knives, or? Well, the knives are real. I mean, they're used for magical tricks, but they're real. You know what I mean? They're sharp, too. Oh, well, I'll show you. Hey, D, can you get a... So, now that sound is coming out of the TV because it's transmitted from the headphone jack into the video converter and then carried over the HDMI cable to the TV. So once you connect this, then this side of it is just like, uh, just like any other uh, HDMI device, your Blu-ray player or any of the rest of them. Audio and the, and the television signal comes, uh, comes over the one... Uh, HDMI cable. So that's pretty much it.
thanks for visiting vga-hmicable.com, and uh, I don't know how to end it. Hope to hear from you soon. Ah, <laughs> uh, man, he's a one cool cat, man. Oh.